Meanwhile, while downward trends in COVID-19 cases and deaths continue across much of the Americas for the eighth consecutive week, However, Pan-American Health Organization's Assistant Director, Jabas Barbosa, warns that progress in our region is not a reason to become complacent or discontinue the public health measures that keep us safe. The Assistant Director reported that thanks to strong immunization systems in the region, 1.2 billion doses of COVID-19 vaccines have been administered and 46% of the overall population are now fully vaccinated. At least 32 countries in the region have already reached the WHO's target of 40% vaccination coverage by the end of 2021, and several more are on track. However, many continue to face delays and coverage in Haiti, Nicaragua, Jamaica, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and Guatemala remains below 20%. Barbados continues to report its highest number of COVID-related infections and deaths since the start of the pandemic. And there are concerning shortages of hospital capacity in the Dominican Republic and Trinidad and Tobago. The progress in our region is not a reason to become complacent or discontinue the public health measures that help keep us safe. Quite the opposite. The declining cases and deaths shows that our approach is working, and it is critical for all of us to stay the course until everyone is vaccinated and protected from the virus. To address vaccine inequity, allocations of vaccines from COVAX are expected to accelerate in the coming weeks. The COVAX facility, with the support of PAHO's revolving fund, has already delivered 64.3 million doses to the region.